Okay, I just learned some stuff I didn't know. The whole Blood Moon Tetrad thing. First of all, 1492. I did not know that when I was talking, in, when, when I spoke about the first seal in Revelation chapter 6 is marked by the time when Christopher Columbus discovered the new world and the kings of Europe, the kings of Great Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, sent out conquerors bent on conquest with the royal crown to go conquer and conquest as much land and as much <clears throat> as they could of the new world. <clears throat> well, I didn't know that, that that same year there was a blood moon tetrad. Well, I just learned that. So to me, that confirms that what the Lord told me about that. Now, another thing that is confirmation is I've said that I don't think anything's going to happen September 23rd. Well, apparently, whenever there's a blood moon tetrad, which is the last one is going to be in September 28th, okay, and then there's not going to be another nine moon tetrad for like 400 years. Well, so what that tells me is after that, after that tetrad, could be within a year, could be within six months. That's when we're going to have that six seal day of the Lord Babylon the Great Falls event. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Thank you, Jesus. People are like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. It's probably going to be pretty scary. I mean, after that, the Mark of the Beast comes out. After Babylon the Great falls, the Mark of the Beast comes out. And that's why... <clears throat> so what I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. I'm just going to tell you straight up. After September... 2015, sometime after that, but not too long, there is going to be a worldwide massive nuclear exchange between nations, and America is going to fall. And at that time, everyone will say, who can make war with the beast? It will be the beast that has destroyed America. And then they will bring out the mark of the beast with the purpose of making war against God's saints. After that is complete, and they have basically taken out all the saints, the Bible says that this calls for patient endurance, and on there's a day coming when God will say, Blessed are those who die in the Lord from henceforth. Now, when the rapture occurs, it's not going to be like in the movies where all these people suddenly disappear. When the rapture does happen, most of the Christians will be hiding out or in jail and captivity or will have already been put to death. That's why the Bible says we who are alive and remain will be changed and we will be taken up. So it's not going to be like a, a news event that everybody's going to know about. Oh, did you see that? A bunch of people just disappeared. It's not going to happen that way. Most of the Christians, it'll be in the, like the maximum, it'll be in the, the fullness of the mark of the beast is when the, when the harvest of the earth happens. And then after that, there's 144,000 with the seal of God on their forehead who are the servants of God. And the Bible says, do not harm the land or the sea until we mark the servants of our God with the seal of God on their forehead. And then God pours out his wrath on the earth and the inhabitants of the earth. <clears throat> and in one verse, it says that, this, that one of the curses that was poured out onto the earth, the little creatures were were instructed, do not harm the trees, do not harm anything 
but only those who do not have the seal of God on their forehead. That means everybody on the face of the planet save except for the 144,000. So there is no revival for those who are left behind. There is no salvation. There is no seeking God. There is no glorious salvation message being preached. For those who are left behind, it is the wrath of God being poured out. And there's 144,000 who are the prophets of God who are basically walking the earth under supernatural protection from God and they're one by one put to death. And the Bible says that God makes all of the inhabitants of the earth drink blood because they have shed the blood of God's prophets and saints. And then, out of all those 144,000, there's two guys left those are the two witnesses, and those are the only two who prophesy the full 1,260 days. Okay, so the 144,000 are all there, but each one of them is put to death one by one up until there's two guys left who actually prophesy the full length of time. In other words, the 144,000, they're all prophets, they're all servants of God, and they're all speaking God's word, and the inhabitants of the earth put them to death. And that's what the Bible says. It's in God's word. And I don't care if, if some old man tried to research that a hundred years ago and couldn't figure it out and came up with his own ideas and my ideas are different from what you've heard taught on Christian TV or what or the ideas that you've seen in Hollywood coming out of movies like Left Behind. What I've heard from God and I tell you right now, I know that I've heard from God. Jesus is Lord. Amen.